the real uh, current issue is that uh, we have a, an upsurge of public opinion against globalization, uh, a perception that global regimes, even, even you know, supernatural uh, uh, international schemes like the EU are oppressive, that there's a sort of a new trend towards uh, uh, nationalism, towards um, exclusionism, um, you know, I don't need to mention America first, but that sort of sentiment is really spreading everywhere. And I think um, people also tend to forget the enormous collective benefits, for example, that the EU has delivered, that global governance has delivered. Um, it's hard to imagine uh, what it would be like if the international sphere was truly lawless. Um, on the other hand, we have um, a lot of laws that are not uh, observed. Uh, there is a, a, a high degree of lawlessness still. And nevertheless, we, we also have a lot of a big, a, a huge uh, international legal framework that regulates our lives. Uh, it's hard to imagine how it would be otherwise. Um, so I think we need to, to, to reflect on, on this critique of, of, of global um, governance, uh, people, where people feel that it's where the law has become an instrument of the ex for the exercise of power rather than um, uh, a foundation for fair, uh, a fair way of living together. 